through series, I'm going to start looking at the, uh, the Plus Fewer Long Welded Rail Train. Um, obviously, it's going to be quite a long process to go through this because essentially we've got five different types of wagons to draw, um, although majority of them look very similar, so we will be able to um, use the same basic wagon design, copy them over and then add on to those with the required detail as we go through the, the model. Um, so as I said in the last episode, we're going to start looking at the intermediate wagon to start with because that would enable us to have the base wagon for the four wagons that are very similar, um, but also enables you to essentially have a model train that you could use that could have up to eight wagons quite quickly relatively. Um, so first thing we need to do is go and get that plans um, for the model that, that I described as I said in the last series. The plan that I'm, I'm going to use as the basic comes from the Barrymore website. Scroll down, you select the prototype, scroll down to the bottom and if we come all the way down here we're going to have the Network Southeast Resource Guide and once that's open you want to scroll down to page 68 of 130. Um, how you download this individual page is up to you. Personally I just screenshot it to get what the page that I needed. Um, you can download the PDF and strip this page out, it's completely up to you how you go about doing that. So once you've downloaded this um, document, the next thing you need to do is get that into Fusion. So if we come into Fusion, we're going to go Insert, and then Canvas, and then you're going to insert it from your computer, and you're going to navigate to wherever you've got this folder selected. And I want that page. And I'm going to insert that onto, you can use either of the um, faces here. I wouldn't use the base face, but I'd, I'm going to use the side one. In, insert that in, and then make sure that's what we want. Just, as you can see, it's the wrong way around now. I'm just going to flip it over. Uh, that's that the horizontal flip, so it's flipped it the correct way around. So the text is all the, the readable to me. Click on OK. So now we've got that in. What we need to do now is create this to the correct size or calibrate it to the correct size. So unfortunately on this document there's no uh, wagon length other than it says here that each wagon is 22.24 millimetres. Um, so you, there, there's no line drawing you get underneath. Uh, to give you an example like the, the other ones we've used where you can actually see dimensions for each part with on the, the diagram so you can read it here it's 22240 millimeters uh, and as I said it's also on this document here 22.24 millimeters okay so to calibrate this we're going to go into canvas drop this down right click on the canvas and do calibrate and then I'm going to scroll up to the top, I'm going to calibrate it on the, the top one. I'm going to pick a point at the end of each buffer. So one point there, and then one on the other end. And that's going to select the overall length there. And it's put this box up here, which is a little bit out of the way, but we can still work to it. So it's 22240, type in, type again, 2224. So I've got the number on, 22240, and then we're going to divide that by 148, which will give us the length in millimetres in British N-gauge. The one downside to this diagram is none of the diagrams that uh, I've got online um, that I can share with you have the front-on view of the wagon. We've all got side views. But within Paul's research documents, he's obviously kindly supplied me the diagrams that he's drawn and measured off the actual model of the, the real thing. Sorry. So I, I do have a, a, a front on diagram that I will be referring to as we draw it. Um, but the majority of that work, you can just look at the photographs or just copy along and you won't actually need to see that document. So now we've got that imported. Before we get on with um, actually drawing the model, let's do a little bit of the housekeeping around it. The first thing we need to do is save the document. So we're going to do file or the top here save. I'm going to select a folder. I'm going to create a new folder. Let's just move this up slightly. 
It's a new project. And I'm just going to call it LWRT. Click anywhere off that, that will then automatically save that um, project. This this one's going to start with base intermediate, and I'm going to select that LWRT folder to put that into, and then that's that's the base wagon saved. Next thing I'm going to do is just create a couple of components within here. So clicking on the base intermediate and using the right click button, and then new component. Uh, I'm going to change the component name to the chassis. This is obviously a new drop down from an update that Fusion have done. So, standard type, internal, name is chassis, and then parent being the main base unit. Click on an OK. That will then give us a new component we can work from when we draw the chassis. we we'll do a similar thing. I'm going to have another new component. This one, I'm going to call it bogies. And at this point, for the base wagon, I don't think we're going to need any more components because all the items above the chassis, I think we will connect those onto the chassis to enable them to print as one part. Um, it, it, potentially, that you, you may want to split them off because they might become a bit fragile and you might want to split them off if one breaks to be able to print it and then just replace it. Uh, but initially, I think I'm just going to go with print the chassis as is, as one unit, and then we can add on as we go along. So I think really we're at the point here that you can start modelling from this point. So I'm going to leave this episode at this point and then in the next episode we'll come back and we'll start drawing on uh, the basic chassis shape.